Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Hello. Guess what? It's us today. Yes. <laughs> I think you guys have been very anxious to see a video with Karen and I. I know. And this is the most perfect day to it be out is. and about. It is. It is. So Karen called and she said, would you like to go vintage shopping today? And I said, well, it sounds like a perfect day, but Karen, I do have one question for you. What is it? So I know that she's been coming here a lot. She's been frequenting the shops here in Columbiana. And so when did you like start really getting into this vintage style and? That's a really good question. I know you're completely shocked because we, <laughs> You know, we do decorating videos, and this is something I've been sliding into recently. <laughs> I've, I've noticed. <laughs> I know. Um, and honestly, my inspiration comes from following a couple girls on Instagram, and I love their vibe. And if you guys saw my powder room that Mark and I did, I think, gosh, when did we even do that? You, I, I remember, I, I think you did that over a year okay. ago. Okay. That was a vibe, a vintage vibe, from um, a couple girls that I follow mm -hmm. on Instagram. And since then, I've been really loving that vibe. So, um, and I really believe in mixing decor types. Right. You know, uh, vintage, traditional, contemporary. Um, but coming to the vintage stores has been my new hobby that I am loving. And even Mark is. So, if you guys watched my last video where I have the white garden gate, the vintage gate, we did the DIY with that. So, my purpose for wanting to come today, honestly, is because I want to add another little Something. piece to that mm -hmm. so that's why and um, so yeah you guys are gonna have to wait and see I hope I can find what I'm looking for Lauren because when I was here last week I saw something and I thought that's what gave me the idea to want to add well, to. hopefully it's still gonna be available I, know, which I would be shocked if it is to be quite honest with you so I might have to go with plan B and I don't even know what plan B is <laughs> yet but um, you guys are gonna have to just wait and see Laura and I are gonna hit the vintage stores and see what I can come up with. So I can't wait for you all to see what I purchased and how I styled it. I know, I'm excited to see too. I know, we too. So we're gonna hit the, the stores here in a minute. And uh, well, we're gonna see what Lauren, we're gonna find out here. So make sure you guys check out Lauren's video on Thursday mm -hmm. because we're gonna see what Lauren purchased and how she yes. styled it. So this is all new for me. I so. Know. We'll see. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. We started off our morning by stopping by Generations Cafe for one of my favorite refreshing beverages. And it's a delicious sour iced tea, which has white peach tea with strawberry and pear flavor and a little bit of lemon juice. On my list of things to look for today are a few garden accessories and then something to hang on my vintage garden gate. Here are a few photos that I grabbed from Pinterest, uh, my inspiration for what I am looking for today. Do you like vintage shopping? If so, let me know in the comments section, what are you normally looking for? One thing about vintage shopping, as I shared before, is I wonder what each piece, if it could speak to me, what its story is. And I think the most exciting thing is, is giving it a new home and giving it a new story to share.
so I'm here at Lowe's and I'm thinking of finding some type of greenery, maybe some kind of a mining plant to go with my basket to hang on my vintage garden fence. So let's see what we can find here. I don't know, I'm thinking these might be really pretty. I'm not sure though, so I'm gonna keep looking, but I'm liking these, I love the color. I wish they had a few more of these because I love this. Or maybe I'll do a mix of both. Hmm, not sure. I watch you as you drive. What I am loving about our outdoor living space, especially down here by our vintage gate, is this organic style. I'm embracing nature with the wildflowers and the woods behind me, and even with not the perfectly manicured lawn. Well, good morning, friends. When we got home from thrift shopping yesterday, uh, Lauren and I, I got right to work, as you saw, and I planted my flowers in my basket, and it looks so cute. But I forgot to share with you some of the other things that I got also at the vintage store. So I got this cute little bucket here, and I keep my gloves in it, and my little rake my shovel which is somewhere around here and I also like to keep the tags you know from the plants so in case I don't know the name or I can't remember uh, also how to take care of them so I do keep them in there until I have a good idea of how to do all that plus oh I forgot to share with you guys I did download an app that helps me so sometimes I'll take a picture and it will tell me if something is looking healthy not healthy um, needs water whatever and I'll share that app right here with all of you um, but also every gardener <laughs> needs to have a little gardening apron look at how cute this is so I love my garden apron and then as you saw in one of those vintage stores that uh, I also picked up because you know how much I love to entertain and this one is so much to celebrate entertaining the ones you love the whole year through so i thought this would be the perfect book to have and even though this is not vintage the one store we went to some stuff is vintage and some stuff is brand new and obviously this is new and anyway i was real excited to pick this book up too but i am loving how my space is coming together uh, out here I think the water bucket uh, basket looks so super cute. Uh, but when I was planting the flowers in the basket watering can, I saw this on Instagram. So if you are a gardener and I did something wrong, kindly let me know. But I saw it on Instagram, so I'm hoping this works. Uh, but what I did is I put a pla I kind of sort of like plastic inside of it because you know this watering can, as you guys can see, is 
a little bit of wrought iron and uh, it looks like twig, something like that. So I poked a bunch of holes so it can get air and so the excess water can still run out. Uh, so that's what I did. And I think it really looks super, super pretty. Um, but I do wanna ask all of you because, you know, I'm learning in the learning phase. So I have a, quite a question for you. Is there one, if there is, and I'm sure there are many, but one tip you can give me as a gardener. So if you're someone that loves to garden, been doing this forever, maybe a tip you can share, not just with me, with all of our subscribers in the comment section, your number one gardening tip. And because I am learning, trust me, if you guys see something that looks wilty, kindly say, hey, Karen, maybe that needs whatever. But that app that I shared with you all just a little bit ago, um, I can take a picture actually of one of my plants or my herbs or whatever, and it could tell me looking good or looking sick. Like for instance, my lemon tree that we brought out last week or two weeks ago, I have 10 lemons growing on it and it looks like the tips are starting to turn yellow. So I clicked on it, took a picture. My app said it's sick, so it needs fertilization. So I bought specific ones for lemon trees and uh, that they told me where I got it, where I purchased it this past winter. And um, we did it, but it still doesn't look great. So I'm actually sent them a message. They have people that help and I'm waiting, desperately waiting to get the message to find out I do not want to lose my lemon tree. I mean, we finally have lemons. Maybe I should have just kept it indoors. Um, I don't know, live and learn. Uh, so that is my question that I'm asking all of you that are gardeners. What is your one tip that you can share with me? Or if you have a lemon tree, let me know too. We'll see, hopefully by the time this goes out, I'll have an answer. Um, but I'll be you know, more than happy to hear what you have to say. So while I was out today, also this morning went and got my hair colored. I know my last video I shared with all of you, I got my brows powdered, quite dark. They did scab um, over, they're done. Um, they're still sort of dark, um, but so I thought I'd get my hair darkened a little bit to match them, but they're gonna get lighter, so I'm not worried about it. I love the way they turned out, just darker than I'm used to, but that's okay. We, you know, I'll, I'll learn to live with it. So while I was out, I grabbed myself a salad from a local place, and it's a shredded Brussels sprout salad with pears and raisins and feta cheese. So I'm gonna have that for lunch. And, uh, but I have to tell you, I have been just really enjoying, like I mentioned in my last video, is just learning more about gardening. It's like become such a hobby for me. And so many of you have shared with me in the comments section of the last video, some hobbies that you have started for the summer season. Some of you have been sending me pictures. Please continue to either on Instagram DM or email some pictures of maybe your garden or whatever your new hobby is. I just would love, I just love to know more about all of you. And when you put a face with the name, that means so much to me. And I just, I love that. Um, so I'm gonna go have a little bit of lunch and uh, and then just share a few more things with the rest of you. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying this glorious day today. had been eyeing this glass like cloche with a base and I decided to go ahead and purchase it and it looks so beautiful here on my island with some fresh pastries. about this part of our backyard is it's a beautiful relaxing area well for me it's creating an area of joy and serenity thank you so much for watching friends be sure to join our orchids family community in the comment section uh, I just love when you all give me feedback and answer the questions and uh, Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I love you all and we'll see you next time.